welcome back to my youtube channel and today in this video what we are going to do is we are going to pre uh, create a gender classifier using python so we are going to use a scikit library in this and a decision tree classifier so let's begin with this video so first of all i open this uh, python files i'll import a scikit library from sklearn import tree so uh, scikit learn is a python library for machine learning and it features classification regression and different clustering algorithms also so, so from scikit we are gonna use a decision tree classifier so i'll just create one variable named cls then i am going to create a tree dot decision tree classifier <coughs> then now we need to provide a set of data points so based on this provided set of data points the model gets trained and it predicts the result so for this i have just already created a small set of data point so this set of data point represents a height a weight and a shoe size and correspondingly uh, we have given it as a male so this set of data represents a male uh, so this, this set of data represents a female that's and this our model is going to get trained based on this set of data points so basically it happens like the more number of data more set of data you provide the better are the results so for your reference i'll just give it as uh, the first one represents a height weight and shoe size now what we are going to do is like i uh, will say cls equals cls dot fit and we are going to pass x and y so this fit method we are going to call it is used to train a model then after it gets trained the model is can make predictions so after this we will call a predict method so i will just create another variable named prediction and i will say cls dot predict it takes uh, 2d array so now uh, we will pass a set of data suppose 80 then 10 now we need to print the result the model predicts so i will simply say a prediction so what we have done over here is like we have called decision tree classifier then we have provided a set of data points in x and y coordinate then we are passing that x and y set of data points into this fit method to train our model then we are just calling a predict method so and we are passing this set of data so based on this it will give us a result so first it will get trained on this set of data points and whatever we pass afterwards it will give us a result so let's see it i'll just save this thing and i'll run this module Uh, you can see that the model has returned a male so if we change a certain set of data so suppose we change it over here 60 and we change our weight to suppose uh, 65 and the shoe size to suppose 7 and let's save this again rerun this module again it says male so now we change the fail wait 50 save it run this module so now it says female so i hope you have got a little bit of understanding of how this machine learning algorithms work and what's the power of machine learning so more than a set of data you provide the better will be the prediction results of the model so there's a lot more to explore on this topic so uh, i hope you have i have conveyed my little bit of understanding uh, in this video so if you like this video uh, do make sure like you hit that like button and share it with your friends who are interested in such topics and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching this video till then take care thanks a lot